Grace and peace to you all. It's Holy Saturday, which is not a day that we have a history of doing a whole lot of reflection on in our tradition. And yet, in this time that we find ourselves in, I thought it important for us to have a time of prayer and reflection on this day in between Good Friday and our celebration of Easter. So I invite you to take a moment to prepare your heart and your mind for this time of prayer and devotion. Let us pray. Merciful and ever-living God, creator of heaven and earth, as the crucified body of your Son was laid in the tomb and rested on this holy day, grant that we may await with him the dawning of the third day as he promised, and rise with him in newness of life, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to St. John, the 19th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, who was a disciple of Jesus, though a secret one because of his fear of Annas and Caiaphas, asked Pilate to let him take away the body of Jesus. Pilate gave him permission, so he came and removed his body. Nicodemus, who had at first come to Jesus by night, also came, bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloe, weighing about a hundred pounds. They took the body of Jesus and wrapped it with the spices in linen cloths, according to the burial custom of Jesus' own people. Now there was a garden in the place where he was crucified, and in the garden there was a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. As I mentioned, Holy Saturday is not a day that has a whole lot of prominence in the Lutheran tradition. But this year, it occurs to me that we find ourselves in a sort of Holy Saturday moment. We continue to see the signs of death and grief and pain all around us. We find ourselves wondering if we're approaching anything that can give us signs of hope, that life may in any sense return to what we are used to it being. I suspect that's how the disciples felt. We have the benefit of knowing the rest of the story. We have the benefit of knowing that on the other side of this Holy Saturday is this time of Easter joy and celebration. But the disciples didn't. The disciples hid away in their locked rooms, fearful that what happened to Jesus might happen to them if they stuck their necks out too far. And so they waited. They sat in those dark and cramped and locked rooms and pondered what their future might look like when everything that they'd been hoping for had come crashing down all around them. Holy Saturday is a time to sit in that grief and in that pain and in that sense of loss. Maybe you feel like you've been doing too much of that already, and I can appreciate that. But our faith does not serve us if it does not give us the space to recognize the pain and the sadness of life in this broken world. And Holy Saturday gives us a chance to do that. So before we jump into Easter, before we sing, Jesus Christ is risen today, before we allow ourselves to make that turn to hoping for better days, I pray that you will 
take a moment today and imagine what the disciples must have felt like in the day between the crucifixion and the resurrection. And perhaps see yourself in that place of longing and groaning. If we do that, if we sit in the feeling of pain and sadness that those disciples did, we may find that our Easter celebration is that much sweeter. And we may find that as things do turn around, we can appreciate even more the blessing of having fully felt what it is that we're all struggling through in this moment. Don't let Holy Saturday pass you by without allowing yourself to be in a Holy Saturday mood. As we all do that together, I pray that you will know the presence of Christ with you, even in that moment. And that as we prepare to bring in Easter tomorrow, that you will know the joy of Easter because you've gone through the pain of this day. Peace to you, dear friends in Christ. Peace to you today and always. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. That concludes this time of worship. Once again, peace to you in the name of Christ. May you be blessed by your time in prayer and reflection on this holy Saturday. Amen and amen.